And again, let's go back to the players for a moment because we, we really didn't discuss the players yeah. that the Tigers added because so Parker Meadows had a breakthrough year. He, he totally 100%, even after he adjusted in Erie, hit very well. He was starting to hit off speed better. His toe tapping mechanism, some of the mechanics he changed, he was looking really, he looked be- he looked better. And I think that one of the things that we always knew about that he had a speed to play defense. His defense was never in question. It was just a matter of him hitting consistency consistently. And he started getting over a hundred WRC plus both at West Michigan. He started off torching the ball at West Michigan first month in Erie he struggled, but then he just turned it on and, and hit with power and average. Same with Winsteel Perez, who you and I have talked about this numerous times, how at West Michigan, he sometimes seemed like two different people. Like he just, he would have a really, and we talked about this with Dan Hasty too, that for a month he would hit very well, hit consistently, and then he'd just drop off. And his defense would kind of have defensive lapses. And maybe it was through the he- kind of in between the heads, but, or ears, heads, <laughs> in between the ears. But it's one of those things where he started being consistent. And then I know the back is an issue, but let's talk about those two. I mean, Chris, in terms of Winsdale Perez, this is a guy who has shown promise and, I'm I'm just glad he got it together too. And he it, it, to me, this is a really good addition. Yeah, I mean, both guys, I mean, they were the two big breakout prospects uh for the for the organization last year, and they have similar stories. They were both highly touted at one point and they couldn't put it all together. And then last year, the big change seemed to be game power, right? Like uh, and, and Meadows was hitting for a higher average than usual, same same with Perez, but Part of that, I think, may have been, you know, just dialing in the power more. You become more of a threat. You get, uh, you get hit better. But um, th- they both were interesting guys in that they, they didn't have, like, astronomical strikeout rates. They walked at a decent clip. They had some defensive value. I think Meadows' defensive value was much greater than, than Perez's. I think Perez is probably a second baseman only, possibly an outfielder down the road. Right. Um, and, and, they, uh, and, and with Perez, it was speed. And Meadows threatened the speed and, and – we thought he had raw power, but we never really saw it. And then this year, they both just tapped into it. You wrote a great article about Perez, and you were citing data of, uh, you know, he raised his, his uh, fly ball rate, kept the line drive rate, was hitting for a lot more power. That was a huge step for him. And, and the same thing with Meadows. And Meadows, like you touched on it, he, he moved from West Michigan very quickly to double A area, and he struggled for five, six weeks. But from June 1st on, it was a 140 WRC plus, you know, 40% better than the average hitter in double A. And he was 22 the whole season. And then he went to the AFL. It was kind of a similar story where he was, he hit a home run in like his first plate appearance. And then he kind of struggled for a few weeks. And then down the stretch, he got hot again. And I think that's just kind of the hitter he's going to be. It's going to take him a little while to adjust. But uh, he, he's the guy that you protect because he's going to give you a certain amount of value just with his defense alone. I don't think he's like a future gold glove center fielder. I don't think he has the instincts of Riley Green, for example. But he, he's faster than Riley Green, and he just covers so much ground because he's so tall. He, he's, you know, he's got, like, giraffe strides. So I think this is a guy who, who could, you know, be an average player in the big leagues, largely on the, the strength of his defense in center field, and give you 15 home runs, 15 steals, maybe 20-20 in his prime. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's an exciting player, and it was really a big development for them. And, and with Perez, I think it's a similar – possibility 15 15 20 20 uh to go along with some and he actually is, is faster or, or better base dealer than meadows i would say so maybe uh yeah i, I think in, in the piece i wrote for woodward i said he might be a viable replacement for willie castro 